First, I'll be using an old cabinet door. You wanna just wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol and allow that to completely dry to clean it. And then I'm going over it with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And for this step, I only did one coat. Once you have everything completely covered, you wanna just allow that to completely dry. Once that was dry, I'm going over this with Folk Art Crackle Medium. You can find this off of Amazon or Joann Fabric or Hobby Lobby. I just placed a generous amount all throughout that cabinet door. And the thicker you go with this stuff, once it's dry, the thicker the crackle effect will occur. And the thinner you put, the thinner the crackle is going to be. So you want to just allow that to fully dry. And once that was dry, I'm going over this with Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Imperial. Or you could always get Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Crimson at Walmart. So you want to make sure that you do not overstroke. Put a generous amount of paint on your paintbrush and just kind of go back and forth. And I did not paint this to perfection because it's going to create a crackle effect anyways. So I was okay with some of that white kind of peeking through. And then you want to go ahead and let that dry. And once you are drying it with your heat tool or blow dryer, you will start to see the crackle effect just start forming right before your eyes. It is really cool. And once it's dry, this is what it'll look like. So it gives you this nice weathered and crackle effect. I then made this stencil off of my Cricut machine, just finding a good placement for it at the bottom of the cabinet. Place it down, smooth it out with my fingers to make sure everything is completely adhered. Use my little scraper tool and then go ahead and just start peeling off the transfer tape. I then just applied some blue painter's tape around the stencil just to protect the cabinet so I don't get any of this white chalk paint on the outside of the stencil. So I'm just using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge with some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and just filling that stencil right in. Go ahead and peel off the stencil, allow that to completely dry. Look at how cute this is. I then got this little wreath. I actually found it at a thrift store, but Hobby Lobby craft stores carry something like this. And I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I'm just gonna wrap it around the wreath. Make sure you find a good placement for the wreath so it's not covering the letters at the bottom. And you could hot glue this to the back side of the cabinet door, but I just used my staple gun just stapled that ribbon right down and just grabbed some more of that ribbon and just made a cute little bow out of it. So you just gotta kind of create an awareness ribbon bow out of it, scrunch it up in the middle and then just tie it off with a piece of string. I went ahead and dovetailed the tails of the bow and there's a super easy bow for ya. And then I just hot glued that to the top part of this sign. And look at how adorable this came out. I love it. Great accent piece to your home decor for the, for the holidays. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.